I understand he's got injuries and he's looking at the Champions League as well, but the Premier League also needs to be a priority for a club mm. like Chelsea who spent an eye-watering amount of money. Um, and when you're rotating like that in the way that they are and you're resting players as well, it's not going to go down well with fans. I think when you've got a squad as... as as healthy as Chelsea's, let's say, and, and everyone you caught vying for places, I don't think you can really, and form of players as well, I don't know who is now down a, a real starting lineup in, in Chelsea's uh, team at this moment in time. So the fact that he's chopping and changing is no surprise. Any team that is, isn't playing particularly well chops and changes their players. Chelsea should have enough on their roster to win games, and I've watched them recently, and they're just they're playing in in, in spells, but what they're not doing is playing as a team. Does he know his best eleven? Do you think? No, no, not at the moment. Should uh, he by now? No, any team that isn't doing particularly well don't know the best eleven. You could probably level that at Liverpool, being where they are at this moment in time. The teams in the top probably six know their best eleven ish. Mm. The game's so different nowadays. I, I think, you know, get it out of your head that, you know, your best 11, you should know your best 11. That's gone in football now. It's yeah. long. I think it's long gone. I think it's a game from the substitutes bench, players coming on. Manchester United proved that yesterday. Yeah. Subs come off the bench, they have impact, they score goals. Because there's so the many subs game. as well in this game now, isn't there? Exactly. You can change half your team. Um, let's speak to a former Chelsea player as well. Former defender Mario Malkitz on the line. Good morning, Mario. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Mario. Hello, mate. Mario, what do you think the problem is? Oh, the biggest problem is what uh, Stuart just said. You know, uh, the problem is the chop and changing. He changes too much. And uh, he made a comment himself after the game and saying, like, look, there are so many young players and they need time to gel back into the team. But if you start five of your new players in a, in a game, you should know that what they're going to give you because if, if you feel like they're not ready yet or whatever is the case that he feels like, then you need to produce a little bit better than what he has shown to, to lose two games. Hey, guys, come on. Southampton is the last team in the league at the moment and you lose at home 1-0. That's a big, big shock for Chelsea. Mario, how do you stand on uh, Graham's long-term future or, or short-term future at the football club? Bearing in mind that he's bought and, and the club of themselves and, and himself have, have paid a lot of money out for players coming through the door recently. Do you think he, he deserves time to get that right? Look, I, I was I was one of the guys that said um, when the opportunity came that he should have taken a job. Why? Because, come on, if you want to build your, your career and go in in the upcoming from Brian, you, you should take the job. That's mm. just logical. I mean, you and I would have done the same, you know, yep. if we had that opportunity. But then on the, other, on the other hand, it comes, you get no time. Like, as sad as I want to say it, or as... as, as you don't want, you never want to see a manager go, but you also have to understand is he part of what they're buying? Is he is he the guy that's making all the decisions who is coming in? Because they're coming in so fast. And how does he want to play? Because when I was watching him, I, I didn't even didn't understand. And then you have your striker, you play Champions League, and he's not even part of your group. And then you don't have a team. You bought so many players, but you bought so you bought a lot of players, but you can't score goals and you have no striker. How can you score four goals in the last 10 games and you are Chelsea? That's not good enough. Yeah, would you bring Aubameyang in? Whatever's not working at the moment, would you would you rate their chances of scoring more goals if he's in? No, he's an, he's not a striker, regardless if he's doing not good or whatever they feel about him. But they just got to come out and make it clear to him so he understands it too. Because I was at the Palace game and he came on uh, when, when uh, Chelsea played at home against Crystal Palace. And that's now a couple of weeks ago. When I was there, I saw him playing. He didn't look the Aubameyang that we know. And of mm. course, hey, your age catch, catches up on you. But on the other hand, you also want him to uh, feel the need and the will to perform for the club. And if that's not the case, then okay, you have the conversation and pick somebody else. But guys, they also bought Fafana. And he's a younger guy, and I don't want to ever go at him, but he's a younger guy. Give the guy time to gel into the team. If you throw him into the Lions <laughs> and let him fight in the jungle, if you do that with certain players, you're not going to get the best out of them. you got to really bring them gradually. And I don't think they are doing this at the moment. They're just playing everybody okay. that they bought. Um, Mario, thank you. Short and sweet. Lovely to have you on, though. Speak to you again really soon.
Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks mate. Uh, former Chelsea defender Mario Melchior on the line there. Chelsea fans, love to hear from you. 81089 at TS Breakfast. As Mario said, what's the, the long or, or the short term future for Graham Potter? Has he got your backing? Does he have your faith still? Um, where do you go next if it's not Potter? Uh, let us know how you're feeling this morning. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.